Hey, it's Matt Cook here, and this is going to blow your mind, the association of hypertension, high blood pressure. Let's look at people after 10 years, according to the study, on medications for, for high blood pressure. And um, they now have changed the rules for the doctors. Now, doctors, you don't realize this, they're in a straitjacket. Their hands are tied because they have to prescribe according to what's called the standard of care. So the um, powers that be decide that they want more people on drugs so that they will lower the blood pressure that you're supposed to have. And therefore, millions more men will have to be on blood pressure medication. So they did this. They actually lowered the cutoff of blood pressure, what they call stage one, uh, to one basically under 140, 130 to 140, stage two over 140. So this put millions more men on medication. Now, this is a very tricky thing, and I'm going to show you how to get around this, okay? So, basically, after they implemented this, they, they like to they play little games, but um, the adjusted CVD-specific mortality rate, that means the people that died of heart disease, but what we want to know is the people that died, period, all-cause mortality, which they don't really report in the study. But they do report something else that's so interesting, they report, and it's too bad, they report that almost half of these men were depressed, according, whereas a third of non-treated patients were depressed. So these cause depression. They also cause erectile dysfunction. No wonder. Who wouldn't be depressed? These are horrible medications. The question is, should you be on them? The question is, do you actually have high blood pressure? Maybe you really don't. Maybe the doctors are treating something where there's nothing wrong. So uh, this is a very, very good study which uh, uh, actually shows that, high blood pressure and all-cause mortality in older adults. Community dwelling means they're not in a hospital or nursing home. They're on their own. They're living out in the community. All-cause. Uh, so this is a very interesting study. Now, this is what it finds. I'm not going to go through all this. I've been through this. So you don't have to be through it. So keep in mind, stage one hypertension is the old definition, 140 over 150 to, to basically 159, and anything over 160 is stage two or stage three. Now, here's what's so interesting. This is so critical. They found that people with high blood pressure actually live longer than the people with lower blood pressure. Oh, and I'll show you that. Let's see if I can make this a little bigger for you because you're not going to believe this. Okay, so here it is. All cause mortality, okay? So the, the under one means that fewer people died. So of the people that had stage one hypertension, look at this, 0.88%. That, mean, that means fewer people died who had hypertension. 0.9, fewer people died who had hypertension. Only the worst hypertension, okay? Like 160 and above, there was a very mild elevation in mortality. Almost none. Almost none. How about that? And actually, people that had high blood pressure, fewer people that even died of cardiovascular disease who had it. Fewer people. We are being conned. They want you on pills, and they're making the doctors put you on pills. That's why I don't go to doctors. Not suggesting you don't go to a doctor, but I don't go to doctors. I do this instead. And here's the thing what I, what I would get out of it. High blood pressure is there because your blood vessels become less flexible and they, they narrow as you age. And the uh, uh, heart starts working harder because high blood pressure is required to pump the, the blood into those stiffer, smaller blood vessels. It's a good thing you have higher blood pressure because it helps the blood get into those, you know, recesses deep in your body where it wouldn't otherwise go. That's the purpose of it. You don't want low blood pressure when you have trouble forcing that blood and that nutrition and fluid into those far reaches of the body. I think high blood pressure is an adaptation. Only when it's very high do you want to consider treating it. I'm not a doctor. Here's my disclaimer. Don't listen to me. Just some guy on the internet. All right. Daily Medical Discoveries. Subscribe. Get on my email list. I send you these studies every day. Yeah, you'll see it below. And also get my free book, which is fantastic and wonderful. Just ask you to help me out with shipping. It helps you. It, it shows you how to live to be 120. Um, I'll just flip to a page. Page 123 is all about what's wrong with statins and what to do instead. I just randomly flip to a page. Every page is chock full of amazing information. Get my book. Subscribe. See you tomorrow. Thank you.